Good morning, everyone. There's a powerful movement in us at the moment towards connection. The connection that already exists uh, between all things. And there's an acceleration right now towards that recognition. And with that brings lots of waves of separation energy that are needed to be transcended, transformed, transmuted. And those show up in your mind, in your body system, in your energy field, and as a result show up as behaviors, as feelings, as senses, as ways of being and doing and living. So something to be really mindful of the kind of the ups and downs, the troughs, like the, the spaces in between the waves, the peaks and the, the lows can, the distance between those two can intensify as we oscillate, as we swing on the pendulum between connection, separation, connection, separation. It's like the waves in an oscilloscope, I think it's called in uh, in science, where you see the, the waves up and down, up and down. And the same thing happens when we're transforming and transmuting. You see the difference between the two points can get even bigger. We feel it and experience it, as we experience it in separation intensely and then connection intensely or longing a movement towards connection and then a movement towards separation and both are okay and both right now are to be honored and i know the separation can feel icky because it's not our truth it's not the reality of our inner being it's not the ultimate reality of this universe but it is our role to stay with it and to breathe it and to acknowledge it and to give it the time and space that it needs, knowing that it doesn't have to impact your focus, your intention. It doesn't have to make you move away from where you're headed. It is part of where you're headed, in fact. It's because you've chosen this path of connection and deeper connection that whatever is in the way of this new reality, whatever is not coherent and congruent with this new state of being, then is invited to be transformed. So you can access more of the state of being that you are calling forth. So sometimes it looks like we're taking some steps back, but in reality we're intensifying, we're facing these, what Joseph Campbell calls the inner demons. We're going deeper, which really are the denser states, the lower vibration states within us, which are beautiful and also full of presence and infinite intelligence. And our role is to dive into these states to find the presence, to find the infinite intelligence within, to free that spirit. So it's all okay, whatever you're experiencing, the longing for connection, the need for separation, the dance between solitude, the dance between solitude and group connection, and the idea of independence and interdependence. And it's okay sometimes to feel like you don't want to reach out and if there's a real need from within, you can follow that. It's best to follow it rather than resist it. Follow it, surrender to it, welcome it and breathe it. Allow it to exist, allow it to be there. It's there to show you something, it's there to invite you to release again that presence, that intelligence within. So, 
with this I leave you whatever you're experiencing is okay acknowledge that dance between the two poles and know that the further inwards you go the deeper inwards you go the closer to the wound of separation you go there's a chance that this oscillation this pendulum actually intensifies because as you go deeper you face deeper and deeper states deeper emotional states get closer to your pain and closer to your wounding until eventually with focus with allowing you go through it and you transform it and you transmute it and this part of you that was in this certain energetic state in quote unquote dies meaning it transforms because energy cannot really die or disappear it just transforms to a different state in this case it returns to a high vibration consciousness and you can access more of yourself of your life force of your inner being um, of your love, of your compassion, of your heart. But I know that we all have the tendency, myself included, to run away from these other states, to avoid them, to go into hiding. You know, to wake up and dive into the day without pausing and checking in with ourselves, checking in with what we need, checking in with our inner being and asking for support to transform whatever we're working with that day. So I invite you to make this a morning practice. If there's anything that I would invite you as a practice, it's just this morning check-in, like a little ceremony when you grab your coffee or your tea or whatever, and you sit down in your favorite chair or your favorite position and just pause and breathe. Allow your inner being to show you. Notice if you're in your hiding go in your mind if you're in if you're wanting to get up and do work straight away and get into doing and you're avoiding giving yourself space to be with yourself I know that I do it I know that we do it I know that it's important to acknowledge when we do do it and it's okay and then with your this is when you engage your will and your determination and your courage to actually say I'm going to sit on this chair until I connect with myself and then you breathe and you might start with some body scan or some relaxation to feel the presence inside a bit more, to feel the intelligence within and then allow yourself to be guided by this intelligence as to show you the sensations, the feelings, the thoughts that arise and eventually to show you what you really are, desire, and long for, and to connect to that energy, to that essence. Taking your time to allow this to happen on its own. All you need to do is keep your focus within you. Keep your awareness inside, breathing inside, being aware of things that arise and allowing this inner journey to happen. It might take five minutes, it might take 20 minutes, it might take half an hour. If you do this every morning, well, throughout the day when you need it, then you have a space for magic, for the magic that can happen when we are within our inner temple where everything can change and alchemize and transform. It's not through doing and fixing the outside world that this will change inside you. It's actually by going inwards and allowing the magic to happen inside of you inside your temple so that's the invitation lots of love bye